Hello, this is Steve Dickerson, Superintendent of the Hillsdale Local Schools, and today I want to answer one of the questions concerning the three existing buildings. There was some uh, talk of uh, saving the buildings, using parts of buildings, maybe even selling the buildings. Uh, after a lot of uh, investigative as far as what it would take to bring buildings up to par to be able to be used. You can't just go into a building um, and reuse it right away. Once it changes from one aspect to another, even us moving out of the high school and going over to the other building, we would have to bring this building up to code fully. And the cost to bring these buildings up to code was um, astronomical compared to um, what you would be able to do with them and so forth. Like the current high school, at one time, we were looking at maybe saving the gym or saving the lab areas and those type of things. But the cost to renovate this building was far greater than adding the third auxiliary gym to the new building. That auxiliary gym um, it's going to serve the purpose of that extra practice facility, but more importantly, that's going to be a community part also where they'll be able to uh, walk when it's not in use, which will be most of the time, come in early in the mornings and in there, there'll be a walking lanes in there for them uh, to use. And it's also our tornado shelter for our new building and new facility. But back to the old buildings, um, there was talks maybe of um, the elementary building going up for sale or the other buildings uh, potentially be going up for sale but uh, we've had some people that was interested in buying them and they've done their research and they're just not affordable to them to be able to bring them up to code to be able to do anything so as part of the uh, building project it's been scheduled along through there for the demolition of the uh, two buildings with the funds set aside for the third building as well. And at this stage, all three buildings um, have gone through the evaluation for the asbestos removal. All three buildings are gonna be going out to bid for, for demolition. So we, we will be continuing that process and uh, until the completion of um, seated lots at the, all the premises that we currently have. We understand that there's many of those that have ties to these facilities, but uh, again, the upkeep for the sake of something that we're not gonna be able to use or the repurpose, as many have looked into already, is not gonna be cost effective. Thank you, and as usual, if you have any questions at any time, please contact me either by telephone at 419-368 8501 that rings directly to my desk or email is always best because I'm not often just sitting at my desk at hill underscore dickerson at tccsa.net thank you